What is going on guys? Today we are looking at Tiago's award winner. We have got the uh, SBC ready. Um, I just thought we'd kind of get the actual action of him. 96 rated. Um, I thought Coleman may have got it, but Tiago did have an absolute unbelievable game. Unfortunately, we have no dynamic as of yet, but I can imagine it's very much going to be like De Jong's with the cup. We're using a Mobile and De Jong red, as now the reds have kind of died down a little bit. Um, we've already got both of them in team of the season and De Jong in team of the year. For birthday, all of them untradeable, 85 rated team. I did think it was going to be 86. Um, I didn't think it'd be Thiago, um, but obviously I completely forgot that it is the award winner. It's not necessarily a chosen right. It is literally the man of the match. So I literally forgot about that. And luckily for, for me, I have not got a Thiago team of the season. So very happy with that one. Uh, we will give up Thiago and we do have an 88 Thiago now to give up as well. So pretty decent how it works out. I believe... There is a walkout. Excellent. I thought there was no walkout with this one. Hopefully, it does have the flair, which is beautiful. Um, centre mid, 96 rated Spanish. Overall, not a bad player. I can't remember his height, but the stats look really good. I'm interested to see what that dribbling is. Passing's very nice. Physicals, 85 on the base, but we don't know what they're going to be looking like. Good pace. Shooting's decent. Defence is average. Let's have a look what stats we've got then. Have we got any traits on him as well? That's the big one. So we've got a five-star skills, which is good. Four-star weak foot, very nice. Five-nine, perfect height. Medium, medium right foot. Traits, injury prone, flare outside of the foot. Then we've got not really much strength and aggression. Acceleration's fantastic. Shooting, no finishing, but we've got attacking position and shot power, long and volleys. Uh, passing, 99-98, brilliant. 95 composure, 99 agility, 96 balance. I think you could work with that. I am think I don't know what I want because with the pace, I want to get the sprint speed up. But obviously, there's no acceleration that you need. Finishing wise is something that I'd be looking at. But we don't need a sniper because he's got pretty much max dribbling anyway. Maybe a dead eye, I would say. It, it was. It's either dead eye or finisher. But I know finisher doesn't really get up the finishing, which is ironic. But we'll have a look. I think... Dead eye, just to max out that passing because pace wise, I feel like he'll be fine. I feel like that that is all of the uh, content we got today. So we have got another preseason challenge, but I, I really don't like them. And that is it. So let's jump in. Let's get him into the squad and we'll see what we can do with him. Right, so jumping in with the team, we've kind of meshed around a little bit. Ramos is obviously on eight, which is fine. But we've got Thiago linking up with Santi. Obviously, Ronaldinho chilling next to him with Ronaldo. Just moving him across so obviously we can uh, get it. We've got him on 9 or 10. We've got him on 10 already, so that's absolutely fantastic. Um, and then I'm thinking if we go chemistry, we'll have a look at the end of the video at different chemistry styles to see what's best. I'm going to try him on Deadeye. I feel like there may be a better combination, but just for now, it gets the finishing, gets the rest of his uh, passing up, and I think that's good enough. So let's jump into the match, see what he can do. I'm hoping he should be relatively good, 96 rated as well, better than his team of the season. Let's get straight into it. Right, first touch on the ball then. We get it going. Let's see what he feels like turning wise. We've obviously got the five-star skills, so that's always nice. Feels very, very agile, which is brilliant for a centre mid. It's the one thing that a lot of centre mids have problems with, is actually feeling nice to run with the ball. This guy's got the defending down to a T, so it's going to be very interesting to see as I'm just kind of passing it straight to him. But first impressions, I like him. Feels agile, feels like he's got a good pass on him. We get the ball into Ronaldinho, who's going to bag the first goal for me. But overall, I'm liking him so far. Good turning, really uh, nice on the pass. So far, so good. Back to Thiago. What can we do? He's bringing it forward. Ah, we get the speed up lag. Let's see if we can just run it with him. We get it to Ronaldinho. Can we get it across? Stupid speed up lag. Thiago to see it out. Great on the fake. Ah, oh, I thought Ben Yedder would start running a bit sooner than that. One problem he's going to have, I think the strength is a little bit low. So if you could get the uh, strength and aggression up, as well as getting the finishing quite high up there, that potentially could be the move. Otherwise, you'd be looking at more of a, a central mid rather than kind of that attacking midfielder, as I feel like attacking would be the better option. But I think realistically, if you want to get the kind of bonus on all the stats, and especially ones that matter, as he makes a great interception, you're going to have to look at him more as a CM rather than kind of that attacking role or defensive role as such. 
Eusebio into Thiago again. He's he's seen a lot of the ball in that midfield. I feel like that's a cracking roll for him as we nearly give it away. Lovely little spin inside. Heel to heel. Across. Sergio Ramos has got it, but seems to be picking the ball up really deep and bringing it quite far. And again, like I said, most centre mids... You don't find the kind of best ones anymore. De Bruyne, Pogba are the ones that I choose of. Thiago definitely has the chance to uh, to make it into the team if I had kind of like the correct position to kind of fill the rest of it with. Being Bundesliga, unfortunately, that has gone by the waistline. But someone to compliment him, I think, would be someone like Royce. Maybe going with that kind of central midfielder. You could go Kimmich, Thiago and Royce as that kind of defense mid and then attacking could be a really nice partnership right there in that trio mid. Oh, we went for the one too, but he was very uh very aware of what I was doing right then. Winning it back, very nice. De Bruyne losing it. Don't say that very often. Thiago sending in Ben Yedder. It's a cracking ball. Oh great play from R9 then. Thiago feeling very nice on the ball. Finds in Ben Yedda. He's going to find Ronaldinho who doesn't find himself again. Thiago's going to be there to win the ball back. Give it back into De Bruyne. 1-2 with Dino maybe. R9, not quite. Again, Thiago anywhere. Putting the pressure on very nicely into R9. He's going to try and out-muscle himself. Thiago's seeing it out. Very nice with the head. And again, he's there. He's just there. That, that's all he needs to be. He doesn't need to be doing all these tackles and, and kind of winning the ball every single time. But just having the presence always makes that big difference as we try and find a ball in. It's a cracking ball, but Ronaldinho seems to be running off it. Thiago running out with it again. It's mainly the sprint speed that's really good with him. It's because obviously he has that kind of quick burst with the ball and then this and then when it comes no the acceleration in fact but then the sprint speed lets him down because he can't really finish the race he can just have that cracking start but what he does make up with uh, what he does lack in pace passing wise he's got a nice ball on him if you can get the if you can get it right he can absolutely ping a ball straight over to somebody Thiago, first touch of the second match then. First match felt really nice with him, to be honest. He got on top of the ball really nicely. Seemed to make uh, a lot of runs in and around play, as you can see here. Very vital in that kind of area, bringing the ball forward. I did notice there's not really a lot going forward with him. That That's a big issue, just because I feel like I've got him in a role where maybe he sits a bit too deep. I'm struggling to kind of see what his shooting's all about. And to be honest, the last guy's uh, defending was actually top-notch. So i got to give credit where credit's due there. Henri's just absolutely blitzing Ramos. Oh, and I moved the keeper just in the right zone. But other than that, Thiago, a really, really nice central midfielder role so far. I really want to try him in this match to bring him up Cam and see what he can actually do against, against these sort of players. Thiago intercepting, very nice. Again... I don't know with him. He feels nice, but there is certain aspects that I'm not too pleased with. I think the chasing of the ball may be a little bit lower than what I want. So aggression, uh, strength, again, a big one. Other than that, skill moves is fantastic. Weak foot's really nice. He does get the ball and, and can move it very nicely. And I think uh, the agility of him is good. I just think it's just that overall play. I don't know what it is. The Bundesliga this year, it's got a very, very nice team, but... I just don't seem to, to really suit my style of play. As we find Dino in, unfortunately not getting that one. Thiago winning it back that time. And unfortunately, that's my play with the shocking pass. Oh, but Ben is going to get it for me. Oh, and Ronaldinho is going to get two. Lovely stuff. So going into the overall for Thiago, as we can see on the screen, 116k are on both consoles right now. I don't know if that is a mess up or if that is the exact price because sometimes the quicker you do it, you might get somebody just putting a team in there. Normally, they're not really the same sort of uh, price range with PS and Xbox being different. Could be just so happens that they're the same this, this time around. Good player. Overall, I think 85 rated team. Can't argue with that one bit. 96 rated, which is fantastic. If you have got his team in a season, obviously you can put that into this SBC. Hence, I have a couple of reds. I do have an 88 Tiago, but I'm going to be whacking that into an icon pack. Um, so, obviously, I'm going to be using that later on. But 
higher rated by by three technically did win man of the match for the champions league unfortunately we don't get to pick i kind of missed the concept to that i, I thought it was just uh they're picking someone for a whole team but it is actually the man of the match of the game could have been Coman, could have been tiago um but obviously we now know tiago did have a fantastic game and he is on the potential for liverpool very interesting to see how his career goes he is a five-star skiller with a four-star weak foot which is always fantastic five foot nine which is what I class as more meta on this game. Great um, acceleration. Sprint speed on the lower side. So you need to make sure you get the ball out of feet very, very quickly, quickly with him. Shooting wise is okay. Um, I don't think it's absolutely amazing, but he's got good attacking positioning. So you find him in the right positions, which is always nice. Passing is outstanding. Dribbling feels very, very nice. For a midfield, for a central midfielder, a very, very nice turn and circle on him. Strength and aggression, a little bit non-existent. And I think that's the kind of next step is having that small but very strong player. Someone like Conte, he may not be the most uh, like kind of strength player, but he holds the ball very well. I feel like Thiago is kind of like a nimble Neymar kind of central midfielder. Very interested to see how the difference is between the midfielders, but... We have gone through it. I think he is worth it. For a 96-rated card, for an 85-rated team, at this stage of the game, what else is fodder going on? For me, I would say 100% do it. Put your fodder into it and see how it goes. Other than that, I'm going to give him a solid 9.5 out of 10. I feel like he's a very, very good card with a couple of little hindrances. Other than that, definitely would say to go for it. If you've got a Bundesliga team, it is an absolute must to do. Other than that, like I said, make sure you like and subscribe. And I'll see you all for the next one. Peace.